Hello and welcome to the Middle School Bookmarkers Super Quick Read Aloud Show. This episode, we are previewing the novel Schooled by Gordon Corman. Let's start off with our passage preview. I was 13 the first time I saw a police officer up close. He was arresting me for driving without a license. At the time, I didn't even know what a license was. I wasn't too clear on what being arrested meant either. But by then, they were loading Rain onto a stretcher to rush her in for x-rays, so I barely noticed the handcuffs the officer slapped on my wrists. Who's the owner of this pickup? It belongs to the community, I told him. He made a note on a ring-bound pad. What community? Golf club? Condo deal? Garland Farm? He frowned. Never heard of that one. Rain would have been pleased. That was the whole point of the community. To allow us to escape the money-hungry rat race of modern society. If people didn't know us, they couldn't find us, and we could live our lives in peace. It's an alternative farm commune, I explained. The officer goggled at me. Alternative? You mean like hippies? Rain used to be one back in the 60s. There were 14 families at Garland then. Now it's just Rain and me. I tried to edge my way towards the nursing station. I have to make sure she's okay. He was unmoved. Who is this Rain? According to her social security card, the patient's name is Rachel Esther Rosenblatt. Her name is Rain, and she's my grandmother, I said stiffly. She fell out of a tree. He stared at his notes. What was a 67-year-old woman doing up a tree? Picking plums, I replied defensively. She slipped. So you drove her here at 13? I drive all the time, I informed him. Rain taught me when I was eight. Sweat appeared on his upper lip. And you never thought of just... Dialing 911? I regarded him blankly. What's 911? The emergency number on the telephone? I told him the truth. I've talked on the telephone a couple times. In town, but we don't have one. He looked at me for what seemed like forever. What's your name, son? Cap. It's short for Capricorn. He unlocked my handcuffs. I was unarrested. Now let's take a look at some of the reviews for Schooled. We see on Amazon that it's got about 1,300 ratings, and it's a four and a half out of five stars. And on Goodreads, it's got over 26,000 ratings, and it's rated as a 3.85 out of five. And I'm about to read the back of the book summary, but first, if you're an educator, here are some common core connections that you could connect to a read aloud like this. And here is our back of the book summary. Capricorn Anderson has never watched television. He's never tasted pizza. He's never even heard of a wedgie. Since he was a little boy, his only experience has been living on a farm commune and being homeschooled by his hippie grandmother, Rain. But when Rain is unexpectedly hospitalized, Cap has to move in with a guidance counselor and attend a local middle school. He knows a lot about the Beatles, tie-dyeing, and Zen Buddhism, nothing could prepare him for the dog-eat-dog -dog world of C. Average Middle School. Schooled by Gordon Corman is a humorous book. It's also a drama. It is 224 pages long, and the audiobook is 4 hours and 48 minutes. If you are interested in Schooled, I want to point out that the Middle School Bookmarkers YouTube channel has a chapter-by-chapter -chapter book club for Schooled. You read a chapter, you listen to us gab about it. You read another chapter, you listen to us gab about it. So if you want a book club experience, you can check that out here. All right, let's wrap this baby up. Moment of truth, is this book for you? You want to ask yourself, are you interested in the plot and the characters, and do you want to know more? Next, can you read this comfortably all by yourself? You might want to go back to the earlier part of the video that had the text to check that out. And finally, curiosity fuel. Where have you heard the term hippie before, and what symbols are usually associated with hippies? And finally, who is going to get schooled in schooled? All right, guys, thanks so much for checking that book out with us. Check out some of the other stuff on the Middle School Bookmarkers YouTube channel, and we'll see you later.